Good morning from La Land, where once again I have been woken up by Thor literally shaking his tail feathers. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, there he goes again. It's absolutely mesmerising. Oh, I'm not sure it's going to work on the other male peacocks. Mm. Good morning, Percy. I was literally just about to come up to see you and Mummy. Oh, well, we're both down here, so you could see Oh, well, if you're here, fine. I'll settle. I'll settle here. I'll go and get Gerald and we can all have tea together. Yes, we'll be all together. He's just coming to get you. We're all going to sit down and have a cup of tea together. And they're in the background laughing about something that Philip got at auction this year. I've decided to share this with you all as a cautionary tale because we're always extolling the virtues of buying at auction. But sometimes things can go wrong. And this is one of those occasions. Philip told me that he'd found... Fa- Hello, Pavlina. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, you. You can just see the mouth open. Sometimes things do go wrong. I'm, honestly, Mummy, auctions are usually superb, but sometimes things go wrong. And Philip told me that he'd got me a breakfast teapot for me in my favourite set from Bernardo, which he'd found at a great price at auction. He got it for me as a gift. And we had to drive somewhere a couple of hours away to go and pick it up. But it was so worth it because it was this beautiful, wonderful teapot for my breakfasts. And do you want to see what, what we collected? <laughs> How many cups of tea do you think you could get out of that? <laughs> You're lucky you didn't oh, get the foot. <laughs> it is a beautiful thing. It's Lancelot sized. But That's the size tea. Philip That's thought he was buying. I was. understand. So, which a little really teapot for one. No, no, I checked the measurements. It's but, just a yes, but on, we got it the wrong way round. So they would they measured there. Yes, it's the same height. This is so wrong. So That's we got cheating. <laughs> yeah, they heard I was coming, and they thought, well, Jerry's coming. He doesn't drink much. It's a normal size teapot for people of my size and that's a lot. Would you like it, Mummy? Uh, not that much. <laughs> You can make it into a Christmas decoration. Ooh, Christmas decoration? Absolutely. And just hang it. It's very pretty, but... uh, Utterly useless. It is the size of a bauble. (laughs) Yeah, it is bauble size tea. I'm going to make some tea in it. Let's see how it goes. But I actually want a cup of tea, Philip. Yeah, no, I'm making you some tea in this. That's why I brought it. No, but I want want a whole cup of tea. (laughs) I'm going to make that after this. Three teaspoons of water. It can be the new espresso teapot. Are you ordering tea? Not from that size. Not from that (laughs) or not. I'm making another pot. This is never going to end. You know that. This will never end. Where are you going to bring the milk in a teaspoon? (laughs) But why should they, would they make such a size? It's for a doll's house. I don't think so. I think it's one cup. I think it actually is a one cup. Mm, Yeah, it's nearly getting there. It's like the magic teapot. It's a one cup. Oh. It does. Yeah, there it does go. make a cup. Look at that. Look at that. Mummy's now thinking, oh, I That's do actually like that teapot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all going, now oh, she's done well, hasn't she? Isn't it? <laughs> you know, we're all going, well, what a waste of money. 60 euro a cup of tea. I can't, still can't believe you spent 60 euros on that. 60 euros on a useless teapot. Uh, it's not used, we just proved You were just used that. that. We've just made a cup of tea. How I can. I don't know how he dares to show himself. I don't know, actually. I'm popping over to the chapel because the restorer was chatting to Philip earlier and said they're going to be putting an antifungal treatment on today, which means that we won't be able to go in for another three days. So let's have a last little look. On a fait déjà plusieurs traitements et en fait, comme les fondations sont directes dans le sol et que toute l'eau de ruissellement de la petite colline, en fait, oui. On passe euh, par la chapelle. Et on n'a pas le drain encore. Voilà, donc euh, ça remonte par capillarité et, euh, et ça, ça, ça sert de substrat aux champignons et autres bactéries. Mais là, je suis vraiment surprise à, à la vitesse. Mais c'est toute la pluie qu'on a eue. Ça n'a pas arrêté de pleuvoir pendant six mois. Oui, oui. The gold is not the fungus. The gold is just what we use to decorate our fungus at La Lande. So they can't decorate the base of these walls until this is dealt with. That's why it's one of the reasons that's going to be the very, very last job after the floor is finished, after everything else is done. Quand est-ce qu'ils font le drain, vous le saviez? Je sais pas. Non, moi aussi, je sais pas. Mais je crois que c'est bientôt. C'est, c'est la prochaine étape. Oui, il faut le faire. Là. Oui. C'est, c'est nécessaire. Je crois que c'est le moment qu'ils ont fini les joints. Oui. Ils commencent sur les drains. Un jour, ce sera fini. Oh, j'espère. <rire> Et il y aura une fête. Ah, super. <rire> Alors, vous vous préparez pour la fongicide. Le masque, tout ça. 
D'accord. Et c'est que vous qui le faites Oui, oui les autres. Euh... D'accord. Oui, parce que ça, c'est pas un produit très cool. Non, d'accord. Bon, tout le monde vous laisse. Bah, merci. Euh, bonne chance. C'est terrible. On vous, on vous laisse comme les petits rats qui partent ça, euh, du, du navire qui. <rire> bon, à tout à l'heure. Right now, we are going off to the boulangerie. It's not a lunch in France without bread, and we've just realized there's no bread in the house. Absolute crisis. My aunt doesn't know what to do with herself. My mother just held yesterday's dry stale bread straight here and said, but this is absolutely fine. And everyone looked at her as though she'd gone stark raving mad. So Vivian is saving the day. <laughs> It's a total crisis. We have arrived so late that all of the bread is gone except for one loaf over there and some delicious brown loaves over here. So I'm going to try these instead. Quite exciting, actually. Well, we raced back. Those who are eating are eating sushi. Didn't need any bread anyway. No, I had the bread, it was delicious. Thank you. I didn't have any of that, what you call it? Sushi. Yeah, I don't want any of that stuff. Glasgow has reached La Land. <laughs> I know that one. The peas have landed. Merci. You look right. Shall I get shelling? Why not? I don't know what Mary wants to do with them, but they're ready to be used. We're having a pea shelling party. It's in its infancy. Oh, not over there. Vivian. Rocking and rolling. Oh, you are fast. <laughs> don't catch up. Mummy has a little grievance. Would you like to tell us what's wrong? I discovered that you were told, you were told, You told a few people, apparently, that no one must go into the chapel because poisonous substances have been yep, spread. Yep, fungicide. And you just see someone. I told them to tell all the guests. Okay, so all the guests know. Tucker and Stephen know. We know. I want to know what's going on here. I put in the sign up. This is now a sign up. In the... I told you to put a sign up. Have and you been in there? And if you want, I can make you well, another sign. Well, I really did, actually. He said people can go in, but it's not healthy, so not to go for long. He said you can go. I he told me I can go in, but don't spend ages filming it. I'm there. not sure he's probably was cyanide fumes. Do you want some <laughs> And you think Philip was doing it on purpose? Yes. I need your apartment to stop my my there. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You didn't want I to... think the teapot will fit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll have it needs space, okay? Hello, hello. I brought Lancelot to spend the day with his best friends. <laughs> Both of them. All happy to be reunited. Have you seen the peaches? Yes, all four of them oh. are okay. Oh. I brought some food and water. It is such a miracle. Yeah. It's uh, less hot than yesterday. I'm really happy. Yeah. Really, really hot. Wow, it was so hot yesterday. Yeah, it was like boiling hot. And today we have some wind and it's, you can breathe a little bit, so it's cool. I wanted to build another structure, but first I'm going to put the tomatoes who are in the greenhouse in soil. Oh, out they go. My mother is going to be so happy. She loves seeing the tomatoes go out. Oh, it's tremendously exciting over here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and see the peach. Yeah. Let's see if we can catch a glimpse of our fourth peach. I still cannot believe how lucky that fourth peach was. I'd be even lucky if we could actually see him there. But, but you know, I can only see three, 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 four. My goodness, it's always hard to spot the fourth. Oh, look at the darling things. And they're all looking a similar size now. It looks as though the fourth one has really, really got much, much healthier since we returned him to his mother. Okay, I'm going to go because she's obviously a bit distressed that I'm so close. They are so gorgeous. And the fourth one looks the same size as the others now. I think actually, maybe two of them are a tiny bit smaller than Yeah, two of them. but they all look sort of the same yeah. in health, luckily. Yeah. Oh, you're doing a gorgeous job here. Or purple borders. I love them. You couldn't really tell how beautiful they were because of the weeds, but look at this. <laughs> Just stunning. Also, these roses on the back wall, my mother brought those from our house in England. So it makes me really happy seeing them there. Right, I'm going back in. See you later. See ya. I just want to show everyone the difference between the border that Pavlina is weeding now and the border that she hasn't got to yet. That's the kind of Wonder Woman that Pavlina is. Is it a sunny walk in the woods today? We don't know yet. It looks sunny. <laughs> it looks like a walk. It looks gorgeous, actually. Sorry, I'll get out of your way as you're literally plating, but it looks amazing. And this sauce looks amazing, and life is good. Oh, I can't help but peek. 
it's been so blisteringly warm the last few days that it's just turned to a thunderstorm. And it's weird because we can feel the storm starting just above us. And then there in the distance, beautiful blue skies. What a beautiful sight. Obviously, I meant the two of you. We have. Oh, and what a lovely table. Is that because one of our guests asked to use these plates? That's really sweet of you. If I were her, I'd have asked as well. And it's the first time we're using the green charger plates here. That is lovely. It looks beautiful. I'm so glad because with all the Lancelot drama. Yeah, I didn't tell everyone yet. Poor Lancelot has been quite ill. Hello, my darling. This poor little creature has been quite ill today. So Philip took him to the vet this evening. They managed to get an emergency appointment for him. He's been sick five times. They're actually sick because six because he was sick at the vet as well. But uh, we've got lots of medication for him and he's just got a very, very inflamed stomach. We don't know why. We worry that he's been maybe hanging out with Peacock Poo a bit too much. Please do go through. I'll show you where Philip and I are sitting. Mum, Mum, Percy, you're looking very glamorous. Thank you, oh. darling. I can't believe you got your dress in the market. You did. You can't really tell the beauty of it here, but it's absolutely <laughs> lovely. Yes. You got yours at the market too? Yes, I did. Wow, so this is a very impressive <laughs> market wear. I need to go and shop at the La Chatte market more. Yes. I like them with the green. I do too. Oh, and it's about to be covered up. Oh, by a sunny walk in the forest. <laughs> I love the way he's matched it with the mother of pearl to go with the pearls on the plate. No. I do oh, love I it with the pearl as well. That is absolutely beautiful. And I think he's using three different sets here uh, because the, the fork oh. without mother of pearl is yet another set. Mm -hmm. Maybe even four different sets because I think that the dessert cutlery is a fourth. But I like it. I think it marries really well. We're all looking at your cutlery game, Philip. Four different cutlery sets used on the table. Yes. Oh, very welcome. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad you like it. Oh, wow. Last yes, time we had this, a lot of people asked me what the yolk looked like. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. It, it is actually still runny. It's incredible. I don't know how Marie does that. It's confied somehow in oil. Oh, Thank oh, you, oh, darling. Oh, 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 Marie, it's gorgeous. Oh, and samphire, my favourite. This is blue lingfish with roasted carrot puree, samphire, and a Peron's quina compote. Tomato and uh, herb salsa on Ooh. top to go with that, and a glazed sweet corn. Quite a healthy meal, I would so say. Good. Yes, but, um, <laughs> you Thank probably you. the roast dessert. So. <laughs> 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 Thank you. proud of that because that is adorable. Oh, with the cornflowers to match. Oh, so we do the classic lemon meringue pie with blue cornflowers from the garden and passion fruit. Thank you. I can't believe you matched the plates. Well, <laughs> <laughs>